A deadly disease resulting in a local shelter unable to take in cats. What you need to know about panleukemia. And the Falcon Marching Band is officially 100 years old. BG24's Olivia Hartpence takes us to the celebration. Plus, is Rodney Rogers staying at BGSU? What the Board of Trustees meeting means for our president's contract. Live from the campus of Bowling Green State University, Welcome to BG Today. I'm Kerrigan Stark, BG24's executive producer working the desk this evening. A deadly virus has broke out at BG's local animal shelter. The Wood County Humane Society's Director of Shelter Operations says panleukemia is spreading through their cats. This virus is similar to parvo in which it attacks blood cells in a cat's body. Megan Smith, the director, says this affects kittens and cats with compromised immune systems the most. I met with Smith to discuss how you can help your cat avoid being infected. While we may get frustrated with the vets um, and think, oh, I didn't get my flu vaccine, my cat doesn't need their vaccine, it is an important thing because you just never know what you're going to get exposed to in the environment. And I think it's easy to forget how easily transmissible some of these viruses are. The Humane Society says they will be under quarantine until October 5th. This means no one can come inside the building, but there are still ways to adopt. All of the cats at the shelter have been removed from their website. However, they are still featuring adoptable cats from other locations. The shelter says while they are unable to take in any animals at this time, you can still contact them for resources and information. They are in need of more food, litter, and cleaning supplies. You can find out how to donate at the Wood County Humane Society website. And moving on to the 100th anniversary of the Falcon Marching Band. We are going to hear all about this milestone from BG24's Olivia Hartpence. This homecoming game, BGSU's band had just a little bit more to celebrate this season. The band performance from Homecoming highlighted the past 100 years, celebrating the anniversary of the band with alumni members from years past and several songs. And the band has its biggest class yet. Jonathan Walters, BGSU's band director, says that this is monumental for the current students of the band and that they have a lot to be acknowledged for. The, this particular group of students are the ones that um, are celebrating the last 100 years and are ushering in the next 100 years. And they have really taken that on as a, a badge of honor. Walter says that another reason that makes this homecoming performance so special is the community that it holds for the band and all of its members. It's the fabric of the band, truly representative of all corners of the campus. And the community that we have here and the culture that we have built among our students is uh, one of positive, um, you know, support. Reporting for BG24, Olivia Hartpence. The weather was great for homecoming last weekend. What's it looking like ahead, Aaron? We're starting off some clouds right now, but we've been marching right along through this month of September as we're getting ready to go into October. It's been kind of cloudy as of late, some rain, but beautiful day. You can see the rain starting to clear up, wet sidewalks. So you're going to want to wear a pair of boots when you go out so you don't get your feet too wet. I do think there is a chance for some more scattered showers and thunderstorms as you go out through today. So don't be surprised if you hear a rumble thunder too. I'm not expecting anything along the severe lines. It's going to be about 69 today. We're about done with warming up for the day. So we are going to be going on that cooling trend for the rest of the day. Tomorrow we are going to be seeing some clouds start to clear out as we go on through the day. So you are going to see some peaks of sunshine and it's going to be a little bit warmer. You're going to notice that trend as you go into the week. About 74, 59 to low with your normal bowling green 5 to 10 mile per hour winds. As you look ahead to the rest of the week, you're going to be like, wow, there's a warming trend. Big warming trend. You're definitely not going to be saying, man, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the wind this week. It is going to be absolutely gorgeous sun across the board and you're going to notice there's going to be about 85 degrees on Wednesday. So 
This is way above average for this time of the year. So you're going to be getting ready to get out those shorts and those t-shirts. So Kerrigan, you're going to be able to get out, get that ball cap on, enjoy some nice sunny weather as we go into the month of October. So when is this fall weather really coming in, Aaron? Well, you can really just leave your flannels and sweaters in the closet for now because it's going to be a while. For the next two weeks, the Climate Prediction Center has us above average temperatures for the next couple weeks. So keep those sweats, excuse me, keep those sweatshirts inside of the closet and bring out those t-shirts. Thanks, Aaron. September is National Substance Abuse Recovery Month. The BG Police wants to help those who may be struggling with their drug take back initiative. Residents can take any unused prescriptions to one of their drug drop off sites. One box is in the lobby of the BGPD building, the other is at the Wood County Sheriff's Office on Gypsy Lane Road. The BGPD says this method is safer than flushing them. All drop off areas are monitored, but your identity will remain confidential. It looks like a familiar face will be sticking around BG. The board of BGSU trustees has extended President Rodney Rogers' contract through June 2028. He has officially earned a $77,000 performance bonus and has agreed to donate it to the BGSU Foundation for the fifth time. He will also receive a pay raise of 2.5% along with the rest of the BGSU administrative staff. Coming up in sports, a big win for our men's soccer team. Find out why this is a big achievement for our Falcons. And a Falcon hockey player is transferring to another team in our conference. What this means for Falcon hockey after the break. BG24 Sports brought to you by Falcon Media Sports Network. Hello everyone, I'm Lucas Klamar. After entering the transfer portal last week, former standout forward Austin Swankler has announced the next chapter in his college career. Swankler will transfer to Michigan Tech and will be eligible to play for the Huskies hockey team this coming spring. The former Falcon was, a, was named the CCHA Preseason Player of the Year by coaches and media. In his two seasons at BG, he tallied a total of 27 goals and 43 assists. The Falcons will host Michigan Tech on February 23rd and 24th, where Swankler will return to face his former team. And the BG men's soccer team won their first ever Missouri Valley Conference game on Saturday. The Falcons defeated the Bradley Braves with a score of 3-1 in a thrilling match. Sophomore forward Trace Terry scored the opening goal, giving the Falcons a 1-0 lead at halftime. The Braves would tie the game up 1-1 late in the second half from the penalty spot. Terry scored his second goal of the night, which would be the game-winning goal. Freshman midfielder Jank Lane also added icing onto the cake just a minute later, making it 3-1 BG and securing the first MVC win in program history. After a disappointing performance on homecoming, Falcon football will head to Atlanta this weekend to take on Georgia Tech. Turnovers have been a big part of why the Falcons have struggled to start the season. A total of 12 turnovers have been committed by BG, with nine interceptions and three fumbles. The Falcons also have a negative five turnover differential. Head coach Scott Leffler talked about the importance of ball security at his Monday press conference. I've never, we've never had turnover trouble like this ever here. And again, mindset. I mean, we've worked, we've worked ball security here more than anyone in the country. And I'm probably exaggerating, but it, it hasn't shown up. And uh, that is completely 100% discipline. So, got to be more disciplined. The Falcons face off against Georgia Tech this Saturday. Kickoff is set for 3.30. Well, that's all I got for sports this week. I'll send it back to you, Kerrigan, at the desk. 
Thanks for watching BG Today. Follow us for the latest news on Twitter at BG24TV or find us on the web at BGFalconMedia.com. We'll be back next Thursday with updates from around Bowling Green and Wood County. Have a good afternoon.